<laughs> hey guys and welcome back in my next video. Uh, today we're gonna discuss the reset of the void towers. So the void tower normal and then I will just uh, give you some comments on the void tower hard because there are some changes. But I will want to speak mainly today about the void tower normal. Uh, so in the meantime that I just speak to you, <laughs> uh, I will also let run the auto multiple battles from the void tower. Uh, so I did speed run the void tower on normal today. Uh, because once you finished it, you have the option to run it on automatic, uh, everything. You just choose till which floor you want to run it, and then the game just goes till, till, till you want, or till you fail, obviously. So in total, it took me one hour to finish the whole run. I will post a separate video just of the whole run, because it's like a, an hour. So if you want to watch exactly every single stage, uh, how did my team do, how the EI beat in it, you can check it, but I mean, it's very, very easy. It's just uh, I one shot everything. However, on this, uh, obviously, maybe you won't have the same team as me and you most probably won't have the same gear as me. I just want to make sure that you understand that you can do it. You can nuke it and like speed go through the whole void tower normal with a normal team. You can use that looks. You can use Natalia because everyone got her on the launch and then you just bring a third uh, DPS. It doesn't have to be an uh, AOE DPS, it can be anything you have. And if you don't have win tricks, all you need to do is just put your heroes uh, higher than like 140, 145 speed. And even without win tricks, you're going to be faster than all the mobs from the Void Tower normal. Now, why do I, I'm telling you that you can finish it on auto or just, I mean, or you can just finish finish it very quickly? Because guys, remember that Void Tower Normal is like campaign hard and beginnings of Mythic. If you finish campaign Mythic uh, third or fourth chapter, you have the team to finish the Void Tower Normal. So believe me, it's very important you do it. You, you get so much free stuff. I will show you at the end everything I got. But you, you just have literally no excuse to not do it. Also, I will put in comments, I mean, in the description of the video, my Discord uh, tag. So you can message me on Discord uh, with your team if there's a specific stage that you are blocked. And I can explain to you how to pass it exactly with the heroes you have and the equipment you have. Remember that in the Void Tower Normal, you can use spells as Stun and Petrification. So if there is a boss, a healer or something that doesn't allow you to nuke through, you can always do it manually with those two spells and just basically stunning two heroes and have one more cycle of damage before they can do anything. So remember about that. Uh, but yeah. Like I said, that looks you got it from the quests. Uh, if you finish mythic, uh, if you finish hard and you're like mid mythic, you should have that looks uh, free from the quest. And if you obviously, I mean, hopefully you followed my guides and you did six star that looks, uh, it will be just a piece of cake for you to go through the whole hundred floors. Then Natalia, you don't need her six star. Uh, you shouldn't have focused on her, but you can put her on 5-star with some good gear and all you need is a buffer or you can use the stun and the heal spell. So basically you put the heal spell on your team and Natalia will trigger the buffs from it so it attacks all four uh, uh, opponents, basically. If you are a beginner, uh, it might be a little bit hard. But, I mean, again, don't worry, you have a whole month to finish this. And by the time you finish it, you will get like, I don't know, I think it's 1000 gems and like 5 or 10 summons from the Void Tower. But again, we're gonna go through all the rewards at the end because I'm gonna claim them with you. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's just, you know, I just wanted to post a quick video to remind you that, well, Void Tower did reset. Every month we get the free rewards. So not only you get rewards from the levels when you pass them, but you also get rewards for every 10 levels you pass. And honestly, guys, the rewards are insane. Even at the end game, you don't even know how happy I am just to have those. Uh, but yeah, again, if you need any help with any stage, 
you can just message me on Discord. Uh, I will have a look at your team. I will tell you exactly which spells you should take, how to go, how to proceed. But honestly, after one or two weeks of playing this game, I don't see why you should have an issue uh, in finishing this tower. Like I said, the, the mobs, as you can see on the screen, are like 50, between 50 and 60, and then obviously 60, I think, level 100. But mobs in Mythic Campaign are even higher level and stronger. So if you pass those, you will pass Void Tower normal, believe me. And uh, it takes just one day, guys. So instead of farming uh, Queen for like two, three hours, you, you can just focus on it and it's done for the whole month. But at the same time, it gives you summons that you can just do and hopefully get something nice. Or it will give you a lot, a lot of gems for some nice extra energy for you. Uh, so yeah, um, regarding the Void Tower hard, from what I saw, this month there is nothing no restriction on stun technically what i saw is basically that the monster gets get above every turn uh, they play a uh, they also hit harder below 50 percent but you can stun them you can use the stun spell from the summon let's, let's call it the summoner spell and you can stun them you can also petrify them so this month is even easier than last month I did a guide on Void Tower Hard, which team you can use. And honestly, I think even replacing Charles or someone else with like a Natalie or Zatlux, since we have those stuns that are available for us, will just help you to go even faster. Or will just help you to pass some floors that you couldn't before because there was like, I don't know, CC or some other healers. But now you'll be able to stun them. It will be give you a, a, a grant you additional turn basically to kill them. So I really think the Void Tower Heart will be much more easier. Uh, I still didn't touch the Void Tower Tart, uh, Void Tower Heart, but I will do it most probably this weekend. Uh, because guys, I don't know if, you, as maybe you noticed, but I finally reached 100 uh, followers on YouTube. I, I just, first of all, thank you everyone. Thank you for following, subscribing. Thank you for everyone for uh, leaving a like or even a dislike, guys. Uh, much appreciated. For all the comments, bad or good, I really, really appreciate it. Like I'm, I'm really open to communication, to criticism. So I don't mind if it's something telling me that I did a shit job. Go ahead. That's the whole point of the comments. So this weekend on Saturday, I think which which day is it? Saturday. Yeah, Saturday fifth. Uh, I will be doing I think like a ten hours or maybe twelve hours stream. Uh, I will be doing some summons just to celebrate my followers, and I will make a giveaway of uh, 10 euro, either, I don't know, either Play Store card, iOS card, or for those who want, I can just uh, transfer uh, on PayPal, up to you. So yeah, you can join me on my Twitch this Saturday, guys. Obviously, I will leave the link in the description. And yeah, Saturday, maybe Saturday, I will try to push some Void Tower hard with you. It should be faster, so maybe even we can start Mythic. I don't know, I will see. But yeah, even if you have any questions, if you want me to review your gear on the stream, whatever, guys, I will be there on Saturday. Uh, I will start uh, around 4 p.m. Paris time in Europe. So I don't know which time zone it will be for you. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I will be streaming for 10, 12 hours and the summoning and most probably I will do around 8 p.m. Paris time Europe. So let me know in the comments if there you think I should do it a bit later because I know that uh, the majority of my audience is from the United States. So I don't know exactly how the time zones work, if you will be able to join. But yeah, let me know and uh, worst case scenario, I can push it a little bit. Um, I mean, I'm so hyped and thankful that uh, I can uh, play a little bit after midnight. <laughs> no worries. So yeah, guys. Um, so I will speed up the run a little bit so it finishes now and let's go into the rewards. Okay, so this is everything I got uh, for all the hundred uh, floors. Uh, in total, we got four, five, six summons. Obviously the six is uh, you can have a chance to get the legendary. And besides that, uh, Besides that, uh, we also get 30, 30, 60, 100 uh, summoning points for the banner. Uh, obviously, we get the little pumpkins. 
but I will check for uh, because obviously we got the rewards from the stages as well. So I will see. Oh, there you go. 267 I have after finishing TOA hard, uh, TOA normal. In total, we get uh, 1,000 gems if I'm not mistaken. A little bit more. Yeah, around 1,000 gems, which is 1,200 energy, guys. That's just insane. That's like, I don't know, uh, one day of farming uh, Queen 12. It's it's insane, guys. You should, If you're struggling with energy, just do your TOA. But if you have enough of gems, just do, uh, do the energy. And then, yeah, besides some pumpkins, three-star pumpkins, two, four-star pumpkins. I mean, it's all free. It's all amazing, guys. Uh, yeah. So yeah, um, get let me get everything. Let me get everything, and uh, just since we are here, uh, like I was telling you about the Void Tower Heart, they changed the well, the the the, the issues. We, I, mean, I don't know how to name it in English, but yeah, basically now every beginning of the turn they gain one stack. So I'm guessing this is like attack up or stats up. And then damage dealt increase 50% when the enemy life is less than a half. But w what does it mean? It means we can stun everyone. So it, we can use the summoning spell. Let me show you one level. We can basically use the stun. And you can also use the petrify. That was also available last time. But now we have the stun and the petrify. Which will make even easier to go through floors when they have a healer. So let me just run quickly through the first wave because I just want to demonstrate to you that it does work. Uh, if it fails for you, it might just mean that you don't have enough of focus because basically the spells that are launched are based on your hero who is launching them statistics. So obviously since uh, if you launch it, for example, on Wintrix, obviously she's huge. I mean, my Wintrix has a lot of uh, focus, but someone else might fail it. Okay, but let me try with Uriel. There you go. Obviously it cleans, but you can also see now his stunt. And this is just a game changer, guys. It will be so much more easier for you to finish Void Tower Heart. So again, <laughs> no excuses, guys. You can do it, free stuff. If you need any help whatsoever, uh, again, I will put my Discord uh, ID in the comment, I mean, under in the description. And I will also... Well, that's it. I mean, I, I, I can't give you my phone number. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but yeah, um, in terms of the rewards, Void Howard Tart, it's a little bit the same. Obviously, the amounts are higher and we don't got we don't get a epic legendary summon, but we get the legend potion, which I think it's better. So, yeah, we got what? One, two, three, four, five summons. And then we get uh, 140 uh, tokens for special summons, and I think we get we get a little bit more than 1,500 in gems. Yeah, something like that. And yeah, and obviously the foodies, right? But the foodies, I mean, doesn't really matter. So yeah, that's Void Tower Heart. Obviously, people already finished it. But I don't think I will be finishing mine during the week. Uh, I have a lot to do. I want to finish my guide on Tulpa 12 and Queen 12. Uh, the guide on Queen 12 should be out hopefully maybe this evening or tomorrow. I will be demonstrating, demonstrating different teams that you can use. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of videos I want to do. So I don't think I'm going to focus that much on the Void Tower Heart. I might just do it with you on stream. Uh, Again, guys, please follow, like, follow my Twitch channel so you can also know when I'm live. But uh, I mean, I'm I usually stream like from 4 to 6 or 7 p.m. Europe time. Sometimes not because obviously I also have a job <laughs> and, uh, and my private life. But yeah, this Saturday for sure, 4 p.m. Paris time, France, French time. Yeah, uh, be there on Twitch with me. Uh, we're gonna play a little bit. We're gonna, you know, try to push some tower hard. We'll answer your questions, help with your teams, whatever you need, guys. Then we're gonna do some summons, and at the very end, I will make a giveaway uh, uh, for my followers. So yeah, guys, uh, see you in the next video. Thank you again for su uh, for subscribing, following, liking, commenting. 
much much appreciated guys it just gave me such a boost to do more and more content so yeah don't worry see you very soon in the next video <laughs> enjoy your week guys bye bye <laughs>